Hello, we are going to discuss solution of IIT JAM 2022 physics exam. Uh, so in this video, we will uh, discuss the solution of some memory based question that we have received from students. Uh, uh, since students have not provided complete information, so we have not written down the options. Okay. Um, so uh, the uh, this question says a particle in a 3D cubicle box uh, degeneracy of fifth excitatory state. See, uh, for cubicle box, we write energy as E is equal to uh, pi square h bar square and divided by 2m into l square and here we write nx square plus ny square uh, plus mz square that's the uh, energy of cubical box okay so if we write here uh, state okay um, uh, and uh, let's write here nx ny and nz and here let's write degeneracy okay so see if ground state if you write ground for ground state we have one 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 degeneracy is one okay and for first excited state okay first excited state uh, we write here n equal to sorry uh, nx equal to two and y equal to one z equal to one and uh, permutation of these okay so degeneracy will be equal to three here okay for uh, second excited state second excited state you know, we write here this as uh, two two and one again degeneracy will be three okay and for third excited state third excited state we write this as three one one okay uh, because if you write two two two, you will get um, you know, this uh, this uh, uh, quantity in bracket will give you twelve. But if you write three one one, it gives you eleven. Okay, so third excited state is three one one. Okay, so this again gives you degeneracy three, and fourth excited state fourth excited state uh, is actually two two two. Okay, so it gives you degeneracy one, and fifth excited state. Okay, fifth excited state is actually one two three. Okay, because if you write two two three, uh, then you will get uh, uh, how much uh, nine plus uh, uh, here uh, two to three if you write you get 17 okay uh, this quantity will come out to be 17 but if you write a three to one you will get here nine plus four so that is uh, uh, 13 uh, plus one 14 so you are getting 14 here okay so uh, it's degeneracy will be six actually permutation of all these okay so degeneracy is six so answer for this question will be uh, for fifth excited state degeneracy is six actually that's the answer this is fifth excited state we are talking about, not the fifth state. Okay, um, uh, so this is basically sixth state actually. So this uh, we are talking about uh, degeneracy of fifth excited state, which is equal to six here. Okay, okay. So let's move to second question. Uh, it says uh, one D potential well has uh, this wave function, which is uh, actually uh, ground state wave function. Okay, here uh, x was uh, given to be minus l by two two plus l by two. Okay. The question says um, uh, delta x delta p x uh, was to be calculated. This is a question from MCQ, I think. Okay, uh, see, uh, uh, so uh, students have given some option. Okay, I have not written uh, down those options here. Okay, if you look at the option, okay, in all option uh, you will see that either delta x was zero or delta p x was zero. Okay, so only that option will be correct for me because we know uncertainty principle. Delta x delta p x should be greater or equal to h bar by two. Okay, that means product of these two should be non-zero. So only that option is correct for which delta x is not zero and delta uh, px is not zero okay so only that option is uh, correct okay so only one option was given of this type again okay? other options uh, both uh, either delta x was zero or delta px was zero only one option had uh, delta x and delta px non zero so you don't have to solve this question okay you can directly tick that option okay Okay, now uh, this is um, in plane polar coordinate value of these two quantities was asked. I think this was MSQ question. Okay, uh, so now what you can do is see in plane polar coordinate, this is X, uh, Y. So plane polar coordinate, we write like this. This is R cap and perpendicular to this is theta cap. Okay, uh, so uh, this angle is theta. So here you see this angle is theta. And uh, if you see uh, this angle will also come out to be theta. So now if you resolve R cap uh, in terms of uh, I cap and J cap, see uh, this can be written as, I'm not explaining, I'm just uh, writing down the, the formula. Take a cos theta plus uh, sine theta J cap. This you get, okay. And if you write theta cap, See, I'm only giving you a solution. I'm not uh, giving you a complete explanation. If you resolve this theta cap, okay, you get here minus sine theta i cap or plus cos theta j cap. Now, if you differentiate this one, see dr cap by dt, dr cap by d theta. So cos theta will give you minus sine theta and uh, sine theta will give you cos theta. So basically you will get this. Okay, so that will be theta cap. But if you differentiate theta cap with respect to theta, 
uh, you will get actually uh, here uh, this give you cos theta this give you minus sin theta minus will be common okay so you will get back this with negative sign so that will be the answer so i think only this was given in the option this was not given if if this is given then this will also be correct okay but uh, i think only this one was given so this will be correct okay now let's move to another question see it says a particle is moving in a circle uh, under this potential okay if its angular momentum is l so we have to find the radius of circle see this uh, question is related to circular motion what uh, the, uh, see this question can be done in two three ways okay but simplest way i'm uh, using okay my simplest approach i'm using see this is the potential so we let's write effective potential so effective potential will be this potential kr square or plus l square upon 2mr square this is effective potential okay and we know that for circle okay for circle uh, we have the first derivative of effective potential equal to zero this is equal to zero so if you differentiate this you get here kr two or plus okay um, uh, you differentiate this and he, from here you get l square upon mr cube that is equal to zero so from here uh, you can calculate the value of r okay so r will come out to be l square upon two mk okay this 2k will come in denominator okay uh, power 1/4 that's the answer okay so that's the radius of, uh, radius of circular orbit okay okay now uh, uh, this is a question related to a matrix okay uh, it said this is the matrix okay and question was um, uh, one eigen value is um, negative or um, uh eigen value one eigen value is real uh, etc see this question uh, this matrix is symmetric okay this is real uh, symmetric and it was also given that a and b a and b are greater than zero okay so this is real and symmetric okay real and symmetric matrix so therefore um, its eigen values okay uh, real symmetric hai to isliye eigen uh, eigen values must be eigen values real honge okay so both eigen values have to be real okay uh, not just one okay both eigen values will be real actually now another thing you calculate uh, uh, determinant here okay so if we calculate determinant so determinant of this matrix suppose uh, this matrix a so determinant a will be equal to here minus a square so a is actually positive uh, quantity okay so this is a negative okay so we know that determinant is written as product of uh, two eigen values okay so uh, this is product is negative actually so uh, therefore uh, obviously if one is positive the other has to be negative okay so we can say that one eigen value is negative okay one because we know that these are real actually so if these are real numbers okay so one uh, if one is positive the other should be negative only then product of the two is negative okay so one eigen value negative hoga okay one eigen value is negative so both will be real and one eigen value is negative okay that uh, you can say here all right okay now now move to another question uh, uh, it says uh, this represents uh, see this is a uh, this we can write as x plus we can write it as x plus iota y whole square or plus uh, x minus iota y whole square is equal to 4 so if you open it you get here you get, you will get two common x square minus y square okay that's what you get okay uh, from here you will get plus 2xy from here you get minus 2xy that will cancel out and that's what you get here okay is equal to 4 so you get x square minus y square is equal to 2 so this is basically hyperbola okay now uh, another one uh, this integral has to be uh, uh, evaluated on a unit circle okay so what you do is uh, you have to evaluate this integral on a circle so this is x axis this is y axis so its radius is 1 so we can use uh, plane polar coordinates so in place of x square plus y square we can write r square and this area element can be written as r dr and d theta okay so we'll integrate it on unit circle so r will uh, be from 0 to 1 and theta is 0 to 2 pi that's what you get okay so when you integrate it you get here 1 by 4 integrated on r okay and this gives you 2 pi so basically answer is 2 pi by 2 okay that's the answer okay now this one uh, it says speed of electron in hydrogen atom uh, for n equal to 2 state see uh, we know that for hydrogen atom energy is equal to minus 13.6 electron volt or divided by n square that's the uh, energy for hydrogen atom okay and we know that kinetic energy is actually equal to minus of energy okay so therefore half m v square will be equal to 13.6 electron volt or divided by n square 
now we have to do calculation for n equal to uh, two state okay so we can write here uh, v square is equal to 13.6 and here uh, 1.6 into 10 to the power minus uh, 19 i have changed electron volt into joule okay and divided by uh, see this two gets multiplied here okay and divided by mass of electron will come here so 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg and uh, this n square is 2 square okay so that's what you get v square to be equal to okay uh, so if you calculate it i think one point something uh, zero uh, uh, calculated it okay so i think you get 1.0 something 1.09 i think into 10 to the power 6 meter per second perhaps you get this okay all right now uh, this is another question. It says uh, uh, this force is uh, conservative. Uh, then we have to find the value of A, B, A and B. Okay, so force is conservative. So we can write curl of F is equal to zero. Okay, so now uh, see it has X component and it has Y component only. Okay, so uh, curl of F is uh, zero. So you know, we can write uh, like this, I cap, J cap and K cap. Okay, and DDX, DDY, DDZ. And here, f x component, y component, and z component is zero. So now, if you evaluate it, okay, if you evaluate it, um, uh, you will get here. And now you see here, actually, x component and y component do not contain z. See, there is no z coordinate present. So when you calculate x component of this curl, okay, uh, you will differentiate zero with respect to y, and you will differentiate f y with respect to z. But f y doesn't contain uh, z, so this that will be zero. Similarly, when you calculate uh, uh, j component okay uh, you will differentiate x with uh, zero with respect to x which is zero and then you differentiate fx with respect to z so that again gives you zero all right so uh, only uh, uh, you will get contribution um, from k component okay so uh, you will get here when you evaluate k component you get here del fy by del x minus del fx by del y that is equal to zero so Basically, you have to differentiate y component with respect to x. So here is y component. So when you differentiate this y component with respect to x, you get 8x and plus uh, 4y. Okay, this you get minus. When you differentiate x component with respect to y, x component with respect to y, when you calculate, you get here uh, 2b. Sorry, you are differentiating x component with respect to y. Okay, so you get here 2ay and plus bx. Because we are differentiating with respect to y and this is equal to zero okay so uh, let's take x common here uh, so x will be, it will be 8 minus b and here y is common so we get 4 minus 2a that is equal to zero okay so uh, see this uh, curl is actually zero uh, this force is conservative so curl must be zero at every point okay irrespective of the location uh, where you are calculating the curl okay so independent of the value of x and y that you put here this has to be zero so that is possible only if if this term and this term itself is zero so you get eight minus b is equal to zero and four minus 2a is equal to zero so therefore b is equal to eight and a, a is equal to two that's the answer okay uh, so these are uh, uh, some uh, some uh, solution of some questions this is uh, part a we will uh, uh, upload uh, part b video part c video also as uh, we keep getting the uh, questions correct questions actually see we received many questions but uh, uh, those questions are not complete so uh, i would uh, like to ask a student to send correct questions uh, then i'll upload a uh, solution to those questions also okay thank you very much